do you know what is the base of everything? Try to guess. Okay. Base of everything is energy. Okay. Entire universe is rotating or moving because of energy. Okay. Like you know how big is Jupiter and let us say this is small our earth. Okay. And if you see let us say sun then our earth is like a dust particle. Okay. So this is universe is humongous we cannot even imagine how big is the universe but entire universe is working or moving because of this one thing energy okay this is about universe now we'll come to countries you know energy all the economies okay let's take big big economies so, economies are, are directly proportional to energy. Okay. How? You will ask me how? Because the energy consumption of the nation, okay, depends on its size of economy. Currently, United States, USA, America is the biggest economy just try to search on internet how big is its energy expenditure okay and that is the reason if you see all the growing economies they are growing their energy demand is also increasing so energy is very much important for the development of nation okay because Okay, let us take an example of our body. We are also using or spending energy. How we eat food, then that food is getting converted into energy. That is called, I will just tell you how in short, that is called ATP. Okay, our food is getting converted into ATP. Okay, so then this ATP is used by our muscles. Okay, when ATP comes in or wherever you try to do any work, then this ATP is provided to muscles and muscles, what will happen to muscles? It will contract or expand, whatever. It depends on your activity. Now, the simple equation, I will tell you, see how ATP is made by our body. You know, glucose. This glucose is stored in our body and we get this glucose from what? From our food. You know formula of glucose C6H12O6. Okay, this is interesting. That is why I am telling you. Okay, now you are storing this glucose in your body. Okay, fats. Okay, in your fats, it is glucose stored. Now, when you are running, then what? What is required to convert? You know C plus O2 is equal to CO2. Okay. Before that, just tell me the question. Okay. The answer of this question. Why we inhale oxygen and we exhale CO2? Okay. Entire life we are inhaling oxygen and exhaling CO2. This is the answer. Why you know? See, C plus O2 is a exothermic reaction. In this reaction, heat is getting generated. Okay. And that is the reason when you run, okay, your body temperature will rise and then you get sweating and then your body temperature will be maintained because of sweating. When you are running, you need more energy. If you need more energy, you need more oxygen. Okay, then CO2 is byproduct of that. Okay, energy you got, CO2 is byproduct, you are excelling that. So, this is simple thing, and that is the reason you are using these ATP molecules. C is there in this, 
and oxygen and then CO2 is exhaled and then what remains H2O water is released by body you know water is going out okay so this is about body I told you about universe then nations and then bodies now why I am telling this to you because we are starting from basics I promised you we will start from very basics of everything okay before understanding the building management system now what is you now the question is to you now tell me what is the simplest form of energy okay tell me okay some of you will say heat right heat is the simplest form but nowadays in this era this in this developed world electricity electricity is the simplest form of c i t y of energy ask me why because electricity can be converted into anything heat you need heat to cook food electricity you need nowadays cars are also running on electricity ev electric vehicles car if you want to run the car electricity <laughs> if you want lights electricity light if you want air conditioning to work what do you require electricity ac air conditioning so nowadays everything even even aeroplanes i just read one article that some aeroplane electrical aeroplane which works on ev ev electric <laughs> electric vehicle you can say it just completed 200 miles of run airtime okay so even airplanes are on electricity so everything is because of electricity in this world okay that is the reason i just gave you the background now if electricity is so much important every nation wants this right the electricity but in previous days or decades what used to happen we were entirely depend on fossil fuels even to generate electricity now you will ask me what is fossil fuels whatever you are getting under the earth first is coal even wood so these are the simple things which were available for mankind to generate electricity now these are polluting things okay these the smoke everything these things are even ash ash from coal in coal plant lot of ash is getting generated so even to get rid of ash is not a simple thing just read it so this is the problem fossil fuels but nowadays nowadays we are going into renewable renewable energy sources now tell me what are renewable energy sources okay first is simple what do you call it water water or hydro hydropower plants okay we store water okay at the highest higher level then through the pipe we just hit the turbine then turbine will rotate okay movement is achieved and from that turbine electricity is generated okay this is the next topic how that turbine is moving and how the elect alternator is generating electricity that we will see in next chapter okay or next lecture but we'll see now hydro then second is wind wind energy wind turbines are there whenever wind is moving those blades the electricity is getting generated okay how this alternator works we'll see then what solar okay then geothermal so many geothermal 
the electricity available in volcanoes and all okay under the earth that is geothermal so these sources will never exhaust solar means sun we are getting energy from sun this energy sources will never exhaust okay we cannot or deplete so that is why it is called renewable energy sources now okay every nation don't want to be dependent on this a ah, very important thing we missed what oil more than a century entire world was dependent on oil even war were fought because of this oil okay you remember george w bush the kuwait so so many wars iraq iran whatever so you can go in history and check this oil is very important for each economy and that is why everybody is fighting for this oil or energy rather i'll say now now what has happened harnessing these energy sources see what was the problem previously to harness this renewable sources it was very expensive now what is also expensive but the efficiency the efficiency the percentage efficiency is going up okay establishing a hydro plant is very expensive wind expensive but now as its efficiency is going up we can set up the wind plants but again the location the demographics so everything is important we should have the wind available wind flow the blowing wind available to move the turbines wind turbines then solar solar i guess there are plant, uh, plates which gives around 15% of the efficiency so now what is efficiency is going up and that is why every nation is committing to use the solar energy nobody wants to be dependent on oil because these sources are depleting okay this will be exhausted the oil reserves in the world will be exhausted that is why renewable energy sources is very much important okay so everybody is promising in this way now we come to know why energy is so much important and how electricity is the best form and in next lecture we will see how electricity is getting generated exactly in the alternator how the turbine moves and what happens in the alternator and then we will go beyond that why i am telling you this because we want to learn how generator works okay in our building management system generator is the starting point electricity is the starting point that is why i explained how energy or electricity is generated or the sources okay it is interesting right how energy is important and what are the sources what is fossil fuel how the world is fighting for the energy right but in next lecture we will see how exactly this electricity is generated in the interesting right if you want to understand more of such concepts kindly hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon as well okay See you in the next lecture. Till then, bye bye.